In this video, we'll walk through installing Windows on VirtualBox inside our Linux system, specifically Ubuntu. But don't worry, you can follow the same steps if you're using a different Linux distro. Along with installing Windows, we'll also enable USB device access, so you can easily interact with your USB devices right within the virtual machine. The first thing we're going to do is update our system. It's always a good practice to make sure everything is up to date before installing new software. Open your terminal and run the following command to update your system. Once that's done, we need to install VirtualBox if you haven't already. You can download it using the terminal, or you can visit the official website at virtualbox.org to get it. After installing VirtualBox, we need to download the extension pack. This will allow us to use USB devices inside the virtual machine. Open your browser and search for VirtualBox extension pack. On the search results page, click on the official website link. There, you will find the extension pack available for download. Click the Accept and Download button to get the extension pack. Once you have downloaded the extension pack, change the directory in your terminal to where the file is located. You can run the ls command to check if the downloaded package is in your directory. Once you're in the right place, run the command shown in the video to install the extension pack. We got some errors in our terminal. Let's check if the extension pack installed or not. Even though we saw errors, I can still see the extension pack in VirtualBox. But if it didn't install properly, you can use the GUI method. In VirtualBox, click on the Extension option. If the extension option is not there, you may need to look under Preferences or Tools Settings. Then, click the Install button, browse for your downloaded extension pack, and select it to install. After installing the extension pack, you'll need to download the Windows ISO file. Search for the version of Windows you want to install. The process is simple. Visit the Windows download page, select your edition, and click Confirm. Next, choose the product language. Finally, download the ISO file by selecting either the 32-bit or 64-bit version, depending on your hardware. For most modern systems, the 64-bit option is the best choice. Next, inside VirtualBox, click the Machine option, then click New. Enter the name of the operating system you're going to install, then click Next. Now, choose how much RAM you want to allocate to your Windows OS. For Windows, it's recommended to give at least 4 GB of RAM, but this depends on how much RAM your computer has and what you plan to do in Windows. Then, select the number of CPU cores and click Next. Now, allocate the disk size. Decide how much storage you want to give to your Windows installation, then click Next and finish the setup. After that, click the gear icon or Settings option. In the Settings window, go to the Storage section and select the Empty option. Click the small disk icon, browse for your downloaded Windows ISO file, select it and then click OK. Next, open your terminal and run this command, sudo usermod a capital G, vbox users, dollar sign and user in all capital letters. This will add your user to the vbox users group, which is necessary to allow VirtualBox to access features like USB devices. After running the command, you'll need to log out and log back in, or simply reboot your system. Once you're back on your desktop, reopen VirtualBox and head to the settings. In the settings, click on the USB option. Now, insert your USB drive. As you can see, my 8GB flash drive is showing up here. Click the plus button, select your flash drive, and hit OK. Now, we're ready to begin the Windows installation process. Click the Start button and wait a few seconds until the Windows installation screen appears. Select your preferred language, region, and keyboard layout, then click Next. After that, click the Install Now button. You'll see a pop-up asking for your product key. If you have one, enter it now, or you can choose to skip this step. Next, choose the version of Windows you want to install. For regular use, it's best to go with the Home Edition. Then, read the terms and conditions, check the I accept the license terms box, and click Next. 
For the installation type, select the second option, Install Windows Only. Next, choose the storage where you want to install Windows. The first unallocated option is the one we created earlier, and the second is our flash drive. Select the first unallocated option and click Next. Now the installation process will begin. This may take some time, so be patient and make sure not to turn off your computer during the installation. After the installation, your system will reboot a few times. It's part of the usual Windows process. Next, you'll see the Windows Setup screen. Setting up Windows is pretty similar to any other operating system. You'll need to select your region, keyboard layout, add your account, set up a PIN, and adjust a few other options based on your preferences. Once that's done, it will take a few more minutes, and then Windows will automatically boot up. And that's it! We've successfully installed Windows and you can now switch to full screen mode. Let me show you the flash drive we connected earlier. You can see we have full access to it and all the files are there. Even if you disconnect and reconnect the drive, Windows will automatically detect it. That's all for this video. If you run into any issues, just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching and take care.